Hello everyone, and today I want to bring to you something very interesting which is going to be absolutely very useful to you. Now look at this, I made this protection for myself. This is a foam that will protect me from touching my face if I'm wearing gloves and I'm going out and also if somebody throws, coughs, or any environmental uh, virus is floating around, it will prevent it to go into my eyes. Now, this is, this is very simple to make and it's a homemade thing. You just need a few things. And as you can see, it's disposable, something that you use it once and dispose it. Well, as part of, I would say, my socially useful productive work in 12th grade, I learned how to stitch. And I'm going to use that skill to just stitch this little thing here, which is as simple. Anyone can do it. You don't really need to learn how to sew or stitch. You just need to know how to run your sewing machine. Or actually what? You can even staple it. That's the easiest way of doing it. But I sew this because I feel like staples might poke me. All you need for this, for this to protect yourself. And as you can see, it is literally covering my face. And I can really breathe so well also. And after I tell you how to make it and you make it and tell me how you feel about it and how useful it has been. Now, to make this, I'm going to teach you how to do it. What is the material that you need? You'll be surprised. Everything you're going to have in your house. A wrapping paper. Matching my dress actually right now. A file, it's just a file, if you have one, file cover, or transparency. Transparencies, they used to be very prevalent in 90s when we did our presentations in college and in actually work environment when there was no Microsoft and there was no um, special softwares to create representations and to project it so this is what we used a transparency and you need a scissor and elastic of course you need elastic right you need to tie this and now i'm going to show you how to stitch this be with me so now we're going to start how to actually make this. So I take my foam here. I take my um, elastic here, right? And I am going to now sew this elastic on this foam, okay? And I am going to actually leave a little extra out so that it can be used for tying at the back, okay? So now I am putting this elastic here and I'm going to just stitch it. Uh, it's a little bit tricky because it's really hard to keep things straight as you are sewing them. So as you can see, I'm trying my best and I left this little thing out. Uh, I think it's not too much. So I'm just trying to make so quickly now you can see you can see okay the camera is not too good with me but you can see how this whole thing came from here and now I'm going to take my back and this 
that is going to go on top of this. Take my little green. It can be pink if you like pink. It can be any color. Totally dependent on what you like to do, really. Uh, I just found a green one, so I just brought a green one. And here I put the bandana. <laughs> showed you and all I need to do now is to cut the extra paper out here I go and now I've cut this paper off and you can see it's made it's ready and made so simple very simple very easy and very very uh, comfortable to use also so now that you have learned how to make it you will realize how useful things just lying around in your house are at times and this is an example of using something that has been actually you won't believe these films have been lying in my house for god knows how many years and this is how i use them today so Tell me if it was useful and if you tried it, uh, don't forget to tell me. Bye-bye.